welcome back to my channel and today I will be doing the first haul video of the year for me. Um, so a lot of these books I got over the past summer because I didn't buy any books uh, the previous uh, winter or spring um, and it's still like a pretty small like it's a mini book haul so I'm just gonna go right on ahead and show you these very few books that I've acquired but like I'm super excited about them. So the first bunch of books I got was from a friend who had a table out with a bunch of books and she she's an editor and so she constantly gets uh, sent copies of things by publishers, authors, editors uh, for her to read. And she has such a huge beautiful library but sometimes she just needs to purge her books especially when she has multiple copies. So early July when I was at her house um, I picked up some of the books from her front yard because I was like, yes, I want these. Um, and so the first one that I picked up was A Song of Rates and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. As you can see, this was an arc, and this is not the uh, art for the final cover. So like this was sent to her way before the book came out, and I am excited to have this because I really want to read the story, however, I'm still thinking I might get my own copy of it. I would really love to get one with like the completed cover and like one that I can show some love to. Um, but for now I'm really happy that I have this and I will have it until I get a new copy just because I'm super excited to read the story. I've heard good things about it. I don't know too much about it per se but I just know that I am excited and I want to say it's a Nigerian based mythology but that also could just be what I want it to be and not what it actually is um, but I do know that it's based off of African mythology and I'm super excited because I need to read more of that the next one that I got was Star Daughter by Shveta Thakrar can I say Thakrar? I think I said that right maybe not Oof, I'm really bad at this um, but this is another one that has been talked about a little bit on booktube and I saw it and I was like ooh I really want to read it because the concept is that she is half star and I'm really interested and I've heard there was one other story it was a stardust I think by what, Neil Gaiman um, that deals with a similar concept and I loved that so I'm excited for this because not only is it like a really cool interesting idea but it's also based off of another kind of mythology isn't it so basically she is half star uh, her human father gets hurt or injured or something and so she must return to the sky like her star mother and do something to help him. But also, this cover is beautiful and again, it was an arc uh, so I might actually um, try and buy another copy of this just for myself um, so I can have like kind of my own copy that is finalized. Um, but like, oh, it's so beautiful. The last one I got from her was My Calamity Jane, and this is by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Um, again, it's another arc. Surprise, surprise. But I, I was actually given this from her just because I saw it and I was like, oh my word, I've heard of those. I really want to read them. And she was like, okay, here. So then I was like, ah. And so now I have uh, My Calamity Jane. There are other... Um, books by these three authors that are different Janes throughout history and I haven't read any of them yet and I feel like the thing is is that I really want to read a lot of these I feel like this would be my least favorite just because I'm not like Wild West kind of person or like I don't know like old American history but I'm really interested just to get a feel for the writing style and then hopefully read more of the other Janes throughout history by these authors so I was really excited for this one I don't think I'm going to buy a new copy of it. I'm, I'm happy with this one the way it is. So then the next couple of books I actually got on my honeymoon. So my husband and I got married this past summer and we went up uh, to Traverse City, which is in uh, northern Michigan. Not the UP, but in the north top of the mitten of Michigan. And I convinced him to let me buy some books while we were there. <laughs> the first one that I got was Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. Um, again, I've heard lots of good things about it so when I saw I really wanted it and really um, I've seen it described as Project Runway meets Mulan and I seriously have to agree with that because it literally is a girl is told she can't be a tailor like all the rest of her family 
even though she's the best tailor. Um, but then there's a competition for all the best tailors so that the emperor can find a new tailor. So she has to dress up as her brother and enter the competition. You see what I mean? But like the description of the clothes in here, I'm actually halfway through reading this. Um, and the description of clothes in here is beautiful and I just, I am so interested and excited to see how this is gonna end and I know that there are more books in the series so I'm super excited. I'm so sure I'm gonna read the entire series. The second and last book that I got on our honeymoon, and I'm, I'm fairly sure I got this on our honeymoon but not like 100%, um, was Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Um, I got this one and I mean, pause a second and just look at that cover. Oh, and like it's one of those where you feel it and you actually feel the letters so it's like oh it's just absolutely wonderful I'm just gushing about all the covers when really I should be gushing about what's inside and so this one is like a big theme park that kind of puts on a game from my understanding um, and so one girl is wanting to go wanting to go wanting to go until uh, one year finally her and her sister get invited to attend Caraval um, and it sounds like one of the games kind of goes too far and either her sister is like kidnapped or missing or something happens and she's like professionals are putting this on as a game but like something fishy is definitely happening it's a trilogy I there was there was a lot of buzz about the trilogy and all three books are out now and so now that all three books are out and all the buzz is like kind of starting to go down now I'm gonna read it, of course. Now the last category, or the last place that I got books was um, right after moving into this apartment building. I very quickly learned that we were a 10 minute walk away from the library and I was like, and it's a public library too, like it's not my university's libraries because I tried going there. Oh, sad experience in terms of fun YA reads. So we found out that we live very close to a public library. So I, went to the library, I got a library card, I checked out some books but they were also having an, a little event going on to promote people signing up for library cards but they also had racks of books that were setting out that you could take for free and like keep forever rather than like oh here are just some books if you want to check them out with your brand new library card but these were free so I picked out three books that I really wanted to take home with me uh, from that first trip to the library and I cannot tell you how happy I am to be close to a library again Oh my gosh and it's even like the same distance away as like my library from my parents house back home so it's like oh, oh I'm so happy anyway the first one that I chose is called the prisoner's wife and this is by uh, Maggie Brooks and this one is really interesting it's a historical fiction and it's about a Czech farm girl and a British soldier who are traveling um, but they're secretly married. The wife is actually dressing as a man so that they can like travel through undetected and safely. Um, and then obviously the prisoner's wife kind of sounds like he gets captured and put into an encampment or some horrible place like that. And so I'm really interested to read about her experience dressing as a man to get her husband back or to go with her husband. I feel, I think, so, um, he gets transported to a POW camp, but she is also transported there with him or something, but they assume that she's a man, um, but she, just so that she's not separated from her husband. So I think this is going to be an amazing romance historical fiction. I'm really looking forward to it, especially because I'm really looking forward to the fact that like the couple is already married. They're not like falling in love. They're, it's like a continuation of a love story but in hard circumstances. And that's something I've not read a lot of, um, but I'm also really excited to learn and read more historical fiction. Uh, so this was the first book that I got. And then the second book that I got is quite different. Um, it's uh, Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. And again, this is an ARC, but like I said, I got it from the library, so like I don't really know. So this one sounds like it's going to be... It says it's a good summer read, but also that it's a very haunting, like it's a house like close by to a university or something that's like very haunting, very old. So I, I'm debating if I'm going to read this during fall because it sounds spooky, 
or if I'm gonna take the editor's suggestion and be like, this is a great summer read and just like save it to next summer. Because like I am officially in fall mode right now. Um, I will be coming out with a fall recommendations video soon after this and then I'll come out with spooky recommendations after that. So like I am full on sweater mode. I am drinking hot chocolate as well as tea. Like I had warm soup for lunch. I am in full blown fall mode right now. So I'm really not thinking I would try to read this as like a prolonging of summer because it is starting to get cold here in Minnesota. Like not cold that I need to wear a coat, but cold where I want to wear a sweater or a long sleeve shirt outside. So I'm counting that as fall and school has started. So I'm counting it as fall. So I don't know if I'm going to read this immediately, just unless I learn more about it and it really is a lot more of a haunting, dark mystery that I believe it is, then I may just read it and just get it done with and see. The reason I didn't have very good descriptions of a lot of these books is because I don't like knowing too much before I go into a book. That's why my reviews will always be so much better than my TBRs because my TBR is like, oh, I see this book. It's a fantasy, it's got a cool magic system, great world building and decent characters. I am sold. Like you really don't need to give me more detail than that because I wanna learn it from the book itself and from the experience. I don't want too many people telling me what to do or what to think about it, so. Then I will just quick do the last book that I got and that is Deal With the Devil by Kit Rocha, Rocha? Um, and this one is going to be very interesting for me to read because it gives off librarian vibes. Like, I'm pretty sure it just says, is an information broker with a mission. She and her team of mercenary librarians use their knowledge to save hopeless in a, to save the hopeless in a crumbling America. Like, it's like a badass librarian story, which if you guys have seen some of my past videos, you know that I recently recently, this past summer, read another book that I was hoping was going to be like that, but that didn't quite satisfy to the extent that I was hoping it would. So now I'm kind of putting that hope into this book instead of the one that didn't quite meet my expectations. Uh, so hopefully this will be better than the other one. But um, yeah, I'm just really excited to add this to my collection of books about books and books about stories and books about libraries because I love those kinds of books like there's this one there's the librarians there's the ink heart trilogy um there's the little bookshop in paris like i could almost make an entire other video with recommendations of books about books if you guys want that comment down below and be like yes i want recommendations of books about books or books about stories and books about libraries because i would very happily plan and make that video like i seriously would um, but yeah, so it was a, this was a mini haul. Like, I had eight books. I do, oh, want a quick throw in before I forget, I do actually have another book coming in the mail. Um, it's a book called In Real Life. Yeah, so that's coming in the mail. I was going to wait to film this video until that came, but just time kept passing and it was kind of driving me crazy and I'm not getting any updates about the people. Like it's been weeks and I haven't gotten it yet, but like it's coming. I know that because I have the email telling me it's coming, but... So I wasn't gonna wait, but I will be getting that book soon. Um, so those, including that, I'm, I've gotten nine books, but physically right now I only have eight out of the nine. And those are the only books I purchased this year. And like, again, I didn't even purchase majority of them. I only purchased two of them. Cause even the one that's coming in the mail, I got for free because I participated in my old library summer reading program. So like lots of free books. But like I'm not spending money because college didn't. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna stop babbling on and say that's it for this book haul. If you like this video, make sure to let me know by literally liking the video, hitting the thumbs up button, or subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm gonna try and be a little more um, consistent with my uploading schedule. Hopefully uploading every two weeks or at least once to twice a month. But. I'd like to do it every two weeks, every uh, two weekends. Um, so yeah, subscribe for all of those and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, happy reading.